Good afternoon and good morning children. Today's assembly is looking at the subject of trust and we're looking at the story of Jesus when he was in a boat and a storm uh, sort of suddenly came on the Lake of Galilee. Lake Galilee which is in Israel, you can go there today and it's amazing because storms suddenly come just like that. I went and visited it when I was at Theological College 25 years ago and I was amazed how a storm just started up quite quickly, almost out of nowhere, in the evening. So, as usual, we're going to say the story and then I'm going to do some prayers and hopefully we'll pop in a song at the end for you to sing together. And we're, we're recording this on Remembrance Sunday and we remember all the storms of war that many soldiers and uh, people in the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force went through in two world wars. We're remembering their bravery and their courage and we're asking for the same courage uh, for us in the storms of life and knowing that Jesus will be with us. By the shore of Lake Galilee there was a huge crowd of people all day long. They had been listening to Jesus as he told them stories about the Kingdom of God. Jesus healed the people who were ill and he answered question after question from people in the crowd. What's heaven like? How can I get there? Will you come and heal my mum? And the proud crowds pushed closer and closer to Jesus, eager to hear one of his stories or hear more about God's kingdom. They were fascinated by this man from Galilee. There was definitely something different, something special about him. Sometimes Jesus' disciples got tired of all the crowds, but Jesus was always patient and always kind. I wish I could tell them all to go away, Peter muttered under his breath. Jesus heard him and shook his head, but with a twinkle in his eye. At the end of the day, Jesus said to his friends, let's sail across the lake. And before long, the boat was making its way across Lake Galilee. No one was surprised when Jesus fell asleep. The sun was setting as the boat sailed out from the shore into open water. Jesus must be exhausted, said Peter, steering the boat and glancing at Jesus in the stern. He didn't like the look of the dark clouds ahead. Lake Galilee was renowned for sudden storms and there was one coming their way now. Hurriedly, the men struggled to lower the sail as the wind rapidly rose. The wet canvas slapped wildly in the wind as they tried to make the boat safe. And soon the waves were crashing about them and the boat was tipping wildly from side to side. We're all going to drown, shouted John. Be quiet, yelled Peter, but even he, an experienced fisherman who'd seen many storms, knew that this was a really, really bad one. They were in danger of capsizing any moment. There would be no hope of rescue in this storm. The waves were foaming over the bow of the fishing boat now and the wind was screaming through the riggings. It wouldn't be long before the boat filled with water and they would all drown. As they clung onto the boat, they suddenly noticed Jesus. He was still fast asleep. Quick, wake him! They all shouted. Andrew staggered to the back of the boat and shook Jesus awake. Teacher, he shouted, don't you care that we're all going to drown? And Jesus stood up and in a very powerful and loud voice, he told the wind, be quiet. Then he turned to the waves and shouted, be still. Jesus' friends could not believe their eyes. Within seconds, the wind dropped and the waves died down. The lake was calm and there was no sign of a storm. Then Jesus turned to his friends, why are you so afraid? Have you so little faith, he said. The men didn't, didn't know what to make of it all. They stared at Jesus, amazed. Who is this man? Peter asked the others. Even the wind and the waves obey him. And that story is in the Bible in Mark chapter 14. So we're going to pray now. Dear God, I sometimes don't like pictures I see on the television. People hurt and crying. I'm scared. Will it happen here? Will it happen to me? God says, do not be afraid. I will be with you to help you wherever you go. Jesus, you know me. 
you know what I'm doing, you know what I'm feeling, and you care about me all the time. Thank you. Amen. And just a prayer about when we find things difficult. Dear God, please be with us. Help us always to have faith in you and not be afraid. When I'm cold, when I'm lonely, when I'm afraid, put out your hand and grasp mine so that I may feel your comforting warmth. Keep me safe so that my hammering heart may know your stillness now and forever. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed that story and the prayers afterwards and that you know this week that Jesus is with you wherever you go and whatever you do. See you next time. Bye. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hand. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper. He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. And he holds us in His hands. And He holds us in His hands. And He holds us in His hands.